everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here then I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button. So in today's video we're going to be reviewing the Gucci Marmont belt and I'm going to be giving you tips on how to find the right size for you and styling. So for the purpose of this video I've put it back in the packaging that it came in. So I purchased mine from the Gucci website because there isn't a Gucci um, store anywhere near where I live and I would generally recommend purchasing from the Gucci website. I haven't had any problems with them and it was delivered pretty quickly and I think when I looked on other websites it ends up being more expensive. I'm not quite sure why but yeah I just bought it from the website. So came in the gift bag with the gift box in and it just came in this really lovely ribbon and then inside it came in the dust bag. Yeah, I don't always keep it in the box but I will always keep it in the dust bag just to stop it from tarnishing and then in here we just got a was this a perfume sample card and I think this was the receipt yeah so you just get the receipt and a little thank you card from Gucci says thank you we look forward to assisting you again at gucci.com i think it's just those little touches that just makes it feel more special especially if you are wanting to gift this to someone for christmas or a birthday so i generally keep mine in the dust bag that it came in and i got the dusty pink color in the two centimeter width belt with the gold um, I can't remember what it's called, but there's two different types that you can get. You can get one which is like a really shiny gold and then this one which is more kind of rustic and I think this wears a lot better. You probably won't be able to see any scratches or anything on this at all and I have had this belt for about a year and a half now. I bought this in September 2020. As it's had, what, a year and a half's wear on it, it pretty much looks brand new to be fair. I can't see anywhere on this at all. So I think they do last really well. So first of all, I wanted to talk about the thickness. So this is the two centimeter width and you can get a three centimeter. I think you can get three and a half, a four. And I generally really liked this size because I thought it looked a little bit more elegant than the chunkier belts because the thicker the belt the thicker the gg seems to be and i don't really like a massive in your face kind of logo so i much prefer this little logo i do wish that they'd done a three centimeter belt with this smaller logo but honestly if i was going to buy this again i would probably get the three centimeter width and i would probably have got the black rather than getting the dusty pink i did buy this mid summer and i was thinking it would go really nicely with denim jeans white jeans um denim shorts and i do tend to wear a lot of like pink or nude colors that i thought this would go really nice with so that's my only regret is that i got it in the dusty pink not the black so price wise this has gone up by about 50 pounds in the last year and a half that i've had this like i said i bought it in september 2020 this was 250 pounds back then and when i looked at the website today this now retails for 300 pounds like i said this is the two centimeter width if you're going to get the three centimeter width that retails for 345 they do also do reversible belts though i was looking at one which was black on one side and red on the inside which i did really like the idea of so yeah you're getting two belts in one and they retail for 370 in the two centimeters and 400 in the three centimeters so for an extra 70 to 100 pounds you're getting pretty much an extra belt so yeah if you're if you're looking at a few different colors then definitely have a look at the reversible belts they did also do a black and white and a black and brown that i've seen as well so yeah, it has gone up by about 50 pounds since i bought this last year and you do know it's going to keep its value because if you do want to sell this in the future you know that you're probably going to sell it for probably around the same kind of price that you bought it for so size wise i got this in a size 80 and i was kind of in between sizes so i wasn't quite sure what size to get and i had to watch quite a few videos to get an idea of um how this fits you know it's just a little bit confusing because if you want to wear a belt different ways then what size to get so if you're not sure what size i would get a tape measure if you can and just with your general jeans that you would wear all the time so yeah just get a tape measure and what i did was put it through the loops of your jeans because then you can get an idea of how it's actually going to sit on your waist yeah i measure at 
about a 77. And then if I was to measure higher up, because if I wanted to wear this with a dress, I generally wear it higher up. I'm not gonna wear it that low. Um, I think I would probably wear it about here. That measures at about a 72. So because I'm between a 72 and a 77, I wasn't sure whether to get the 75 or um, like a 70 because I wanted to wear it mainly higher up with dresses, things like that. So I got the size 80 and then what I did was I went to a shop to get some extra holes punched. Um, so I can't actually remember the name of where I went, but I'll put it on the screen now. It was in the Norwich Chapelfield Centre. So they put the extra holes in actually for free. They just asked for you to put a donation for in like the charity box. And they're pretty good. They don't look exactly like the Gucci ones. Because I don't live anywhere near a Gucci store, I couldn't just go into a Gucci store. I have heard that you can get holes punched for free if you go to the Gucci store. But yeah, because I don't live anywhere near it, I had to just go to a normal shop and get it done. And so because I've done that, it does then fit not only on my hip, but then also higher up if I want to wear it with dresses. So I just got an extra two holes punched because I think this is supposed to be worn on the second from last or the third button. So when they do the measurement for um, 80, it would be like this. So you can see you've got another two holes there. So because I measured it for the 80 centimeters to wear with these jeans, it should fit perfectly on the third hole. So you've got another two holes to the side here. Yeah, if you're between sizes, I would generally go for the higher size. So say I'm a 77, I would go for an 80 rather than a 75 because if I gain weight, at least I know it's still going to fit me. And I'd rather have a little bit extra material and have to put a couple of extra buttons in to wear it higher up than not be able to wear the belt at all if I do gain weight. And I am obviously planning on keeping this belt for years to come, probably the next five to 10 years, I'm still gonna have this, maybe even longer and it's more than likely that I'm gonna gain weight in that time frame. So I would definitely round up in the size if that's what you're not sure on. If you were wanting to buy this for a partner for Christmas, I would see what size their trousers that they generally wear all the time are. So with me, I'd be measuring a 30 waist in my jeans um, as it'd be measured in inches and then just convert it to the centimeters. So that'd be 76 and yeah, even though it sounds very close to 75 if you're doing it like this, you've got to remember that the belts are going to be more kind of sturdy and they're not going to stretch at all, whereas your jeans and trousers will stretch. So definitely, yeah, round it up to the next size. Okay, so I've just styled it with what I was wearing today, denim jeans and a pink top. And I do generally wear this with high-waisted jeans. These are the Mile High Skinny Jeans from Levi's. I do really like how this looks. It's not too in your face. It's quite a small design. Um, the only thing is I don't really like the material showing for my jeans on top and at the back. I'm not too keen on the Levi's label kind of showing through. So with this kind of thing, I would prefer to have a thicker belt. So like I said, I do think I would get the three centimeter if I was gonna buy this again. And yeah, I'm just gonna style this with a few other outfits to give you more of an idea. Hopefully help if you were trying to decide between the two centimeter, three centimeter, or even the four centimeter belts. Um, yeah, what these look like or even on the color, because there is generally only a few different types of outfits that I would wear the pink belt with. And it also looks really nice with white jeans. I really like the color combination. And I've just put it on with a jumpsuit. So you can see what it looks like higher up on the waist. And this is on the last hole. I've got the two extra holes put in and I'm on the last one of those. So if you didn't have the extra holes added in, this would be the last hole and obviously it'll hang very low. So yeah, if you were wanting to wear this only with dresses higher up, then maybe you would want to go for the smaller sizes, but because obviously I'm gonna wear it lower down as well as higher up, that's why I got the extra added holes put in. And you can see there's all this extra material, but it doesn't really flick up. So I don't mind that at all, to be honest. And I just think that looks so nice. Um, to an all black outfit. I just think it gives it that little pop of color. And I really like how this looks with a white top and denim. So I'm just pairing it with a pair of denim shorts. 
which I think looks really nice on its own, whether it's a denim shorts, denim skirt, or just denim jeans. Then also mixing the colors up with the pink belt and a pink cardigan. I think this looks really nice as well. Yeah, I think just adding the little touches of pink with the pink belt just really kind of make the outfit. And I do also really like how it looks with black jeans and a pink top or white top, just kind of any color that really goes with the dusty pink. And these are my lower rise jeans. So I'm just gonna see how they fall with the buttons wise. But because these are more of a mid rise than a high rise, there's not too much difference. This is still falling on the third from last button. So if you are concerned with the fact that you wear different like mid rise or high rise jeans, then don't worry about it too much because it is still falling on the same button for me, which I actually thought I had been wearing it on the next button down, but Obviously, as you can see, I'm not. So yeah, it's, it's just pretty much exactly the same. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you haven't already, then please hit that subscribe button. If you have got any questions, then just leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.